welcome to Minute with Nature. I'm Lauren Azura, your host, and also the park naturalist for West Bloomfield Parks and Recreation. We're here inside our nature room. Today I want to talk to you about rescuing wildlife. I know everyone has the best intentions, and I get lots of phone calls asking me what to do about a baby bird that's on the ground, or what to do about a fawn that's been abandoned. Well, today I'm going to answer a couple of your questions. For instance, baby birds that fall from the nest. A lot of times those baby birds have not actually fallen from the nest. What they're doing is learning how to fly. Those fledglings, which is a bird that is just learning to fly and has its feathers, is falling from the nest and attempting to learn. So the mom is watching from nearby. You can watch that baby bird on the ground for a little bit, and if it has not picked up its wings or moved on, you can help save it from predators on the ground, but make sure that you wear gloves and that you're an adult that's doing it. So if you're a, a young friend or a child that's found the bird, make sure you grab your adult. You can pick up that bird and put it up high in the nest, but it is much safer to leave the bird up high in the nest and better for the bird to put it back in a uh, tree branch rather than bringing it to a wildlife rehabilitator. Mom is almost always nearby, we just don't see them because they're very good at hiding. You can also observe bird nests. They're great to watch and you can tell what birds live there by looking at the materials that they use to build their nest. Birds are artists, so look for those nests. Like a chickadee nest might be made of moss and a robin nest will be made out of mud. Another animal that a lot of people think are abandoned in the springtime are fawns. But it's actually a fawn's instinct to hide and not move all day long. It's something that their mother teaches them from birth. So the fawns will lay there all day in the forest hoping that their spots will camouflage them and mom is away. Mom does not want to stay by the fawn because she'll draw attention to it. So if you see a fawn by itself, it has not been, more than likely it's not been abandoned and it's there waiting for mom to come back in the evening. If you do not see an um, adult deer come back after 24 hours, you can call a wildlife rehabilitator, but please don't take it into your own hands. We don't want to touch wildlife when we don't need to. So even those baby bunnies that you think might need to be rescued, if the bunnies have their fur and their eyes are open, they're actually old enough and strong enough to be by themselves. So no need to bring those baby bunnies to a nature center to be rescued. They're actually very strong and we should leave nature alone and let them take its course. And that's your Minute with Nature.